Aha! There's a perfect example. There is a fungus among us. It is the day after Memorial Day here in New Jersey. It is a beautiful, balmy 84 degrees and the humidity has kicked up. And we've also had quite a bit of rain. The front lawn is looking real nice and doesn't really have any signs of brown patch just yet. I mean, there's a little tiny spot right there. But other than that, and that, that actually could be an animal. But for the most part, the front looks pretty good so far. The back, on the other hand, is where I'm seeing it. The pool is open. Not completely. It's at least open. It's not usable yet. It's still about 60 degrees. So in the backyard, this is where I'm seeing definite signs of brown patch. See that there? Definitely there and here. So uh, it's a good time to put down my fungicide. This is the start of brown patch. This is what it looks like on a grass plant. And then eventually it causes the whole leaf to shrivel up, just like all of these. And these blades are now kind of dead or dying. You can see it here too, right in the middle. We've had a lot of rain lately, and the humidity has really skyrocketed. It's in the 80s here in New Jersey, and you can see it's just the start, but you can see the evidence that brown patch is on its way. And I really think this is what decimated my lawn in 2016. I mean like straw. It would crunch as I walked on it. So I am very excited to be taking care of it proactively this year. Let's get to it. For this application, I'm using propiconazole. It is a liquid, it is a group three fungicide. And this is probably going to work fine on my brown patch. Lawn Care Not recommends either propiconazole or Eagle. Those are the two that he's talked about in the past. He was recommending Eagle over this. Eagle's twice as much money. So I'm going to use this this year. This is a quart bottle. This should be more than enough for me to do two applications on my lawn. That's what I need to do. I'm going to do them two weeks apart starting today. Now this is a little bit earlier. It's about six days earlier than the application on my lawn care plan, my 2018 calendar. Um, but that's because it's gotten so hot and humid so quickly and we've had so much rain. So that's why I decided I'm going to push it a little bit. I'm also going to be using a marking blue. This enables me to see what I've done before so I don't have to go over things multiple times and I make sure I get good even coverage. Most importantly, to put it down, I could either choose to use the hose end sprayer which is what I used when I did my blanket weeding earlier this season, or I can use a sprayer. Now, I had a regular pump sprayer that was frustrating me when I was trying to do my weeds. All right, don't laugh. I obviously have to raise my game. My sprayer is junk, the tip is junk and it's only a gallon so this yard is way too big for that and uh, I think for Father's Day I really need one of those electric backpack sprayers that would be nice family take note guess what the family didn't disappoint so this is um, the four gallon Chapin and uh, I'm gonna give this a try tonight oh one other thing PPE, let's talk about PPE. Although I hate gloves, I do have a pair of gloves that are pretty decent. Um, they, they're not sticky, they won't stick and make my hands sweat too bad. But the other thing is, on my feet, I always wear sneakers in the lawn. But I invested a whopping $15 for 
boots that are just rubber steel toe boots. They're really inexpensive. I got them on Amazon. I'll put a link in the video description below for all this stuff, but 15 bucks. If you guys are still wearing sneakers or flip-flops while you're applying chemicals to the lawn, invest in this. 15 bucks. Can't go wrong. So that should be fine. I'm going to mix it up and get going. Now the Pazacana's All Bottle says for brown patch it needs one to two fluid ounces per thousand square feet and reapply within 14 to 21 days. And it says to begin application in May or June before the disease is present. Well, I mean mine might be a little bit of disease is present but it's certainly not overwhelming so I think this is the perfect timing. And it's not raining so I'm going to apply it. Okay, I'm lucky that I have a garbage can here and the garbage can is the right height for me to get this on because I gotta tell you, eight pounds per gallon. This is 16 pounds plus the weight of the thing and uh, it's pretty heavy and unwieldy. So I just gotta make sure I turn on the power first and then put it on. Tell it's already primed, it's right here in the hose. Let's go! The first batch, I made two gallons. That did almost the whole front yard. So uh, I made another three gallons and I'm gonna finish the front yard and do the back. I think that'll be enough. I don't know, I'll put a little bit extra uh, marking blue in it this time because it's a little light, can't see it that well. But uh, I gotta get to it before it gets dark, so. level knee height and it gives a nice wide pattern all right I'm sure this is monotonous I'll spare you it looks like this times 30 minutes All right, hopefully you can see this. It's the back of my legs. <laughs> and at, at first I was thinking, am I really kicking up that much stuff as I'm walking? <laughs> no. It turned out that the, uh... let me show you. I apologize, I know it's dark, but somewhere, and I don't know where because it was on my back. And yes, I did get blue on my fingers. Hopefully it comes out in the shower, but Somewhere, I don't know if it was the hose or the pump or something, something was leaking and it was dripping on the back of my legs as I was walking. So I gotta resolve that somehow, but I was in a rush to use it tonight and that's why I did what I did and why I made a mess out of myself. But I must say it was nice and convenient to have the Chapin keeping a constant pressure and me not having to stop and pump it. It worked out well from that perspective. Um, but I just got to get it to work and hopefully my, my fungicide does the job and uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, hopefully my brown patch goes away, <laughs> my blue fingers. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up because I worked hard on it <laughs> and I'm sweating like a, like a pig. So give me a thumbs up and uh, I will see you in the next one. Visit my website, handydad.tv, for more great ideas and information. 
be sure to subscribe to be the first to know when new videos are posted.